Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. <clears throat> Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please find it like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The news that have reached them, those unfriendly friends, you know, inner haters that, that once acted like they love you, like they care. But suddenly the hatred in them, they could not hold it. They had to bring it out. Something must definitely expose them. And something have definitely exposed them. And that thing that exposed them, separate them from your journey. Separate them from your life. Hallelujah. For so many of them that mocked you, that gossiped about you, things that were not true, that, that lied on you. That lied on you. Hallelujah. They say many of them, child of God, they are shocked now. They are shocked. Because before then, before then, the Lord is making you to rule, you know. Before the wife of, of that king, of that, what is it called, the master of Joseph. I'm not really interested in that woman's name because somebody, how can someone have that kind of a mindset to lie on an innocent boy? And deep down she knows that that child, that boy, that man was innocent. And he took the cut the coat and he said, uh -uh, this is my evidence. That is the wickedness of me. Before that same woman, child of God, Joseph was made the prime minister in the land of Egypt. Before her. Before her. Hallelujah. That's, there are so many people who underrated you, who belittled you, who mocked you. Right now, as you speak, child of God, the news about you is reaching them. Why? Because they can see how God is lifting you up. No one exalt God and remain on the floor. When you exalt God, God will exalt you. When you lift God up, God will lift you up. That is why the Bible said, draw near to thee and I will draw near to you. That is why you see me every of my messages. I'm always like, give god the glory yes you have to exalt god you have to acknowledge god you have to know that if it is not god it is not possible even the breath the tongue the mouth the, the lungs we are using to speak out it is by the grace of god so we must give god the grace and uh, the glory we must continue to exalt god because when you exalt god it is humbleness god does not resist anyone that is humble before him when you are humble before the Lord, you might not even be doing, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I'm sorry, I just hope I don't delete this message. Oh, God help me. I'm not going to delete it because I will not be able to go with the flow. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This place is very cold. It's very cold. Here was minus one today in, in Spain. I think so. It's very cold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same people, you cannot exalt God and God will put, pull you down. It is not possible. When you exalt the name of the Lord, God will lift you up because God does not resist those that are humble. God does not resist those that are humble. Hallelujah. Many people are shocked because they thought that the way they hate you, that is how God is going to hate you. But God is not a man. He knows the things that is in the heart of men. And he knows what they propose. He knows what they are wishing to see. And the Lord will always disappoint, you know, the plans and purposes of the enemy towards your destiny. Hallelujah. Many of them are shocked because you are the one that the Lord is lifting up. Why? Because you humble yourself. I was saying something before I sneeze up. I'm like, when you humble yourself before God, you might not be even doing everything so perfect. But God's mercy and grace will always speak for you. 
Because when you realize it in life, you will realize that we are not even perfect. We are not even the most holiest person. But God chooses to use. God chooses to work with us. You ask yourself why. Why? Because when you humble yourself, God will not resist you. When you acknowledge God, God will not resist you. When you give God all, everything that is due to him, God will not resist you. You know, if the earth, uh, the, 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 is it the, the Tower of Babel? If the king and the people are in that town that were building that Tower of Babel, they have seek the face of the Lord and said, Lord, we want to build this Babel Tower in our city. We want to do this. God will tell them, no, my people don't do. Or go ahead. I am going to use you to display to the earth that, yes, I am among you. You know that ba the tower will not have been a battle. But because they took it as a proud, a pride, like let's build now. Let's get to where God is. Let's do this. Let's prove to the world we are this. They were not taking glory. They were not exalting themselves. They not remove God. One thing you need to understand that even the rich man that died and go to hell, he did not go to hell because he was rich. He went to hell because he never acknowledged God. All his life was just about him, about his wealth, about how he will just, you know, live whatever he want to live. He, his riches was not about God. That was why he went to hell. Somebody would say, oh, Lazarus was poor and went to heaven and this. Yes, it's true. Poor people are still, are still in hell. Someone can still be poor and go to hell. Someone can still be rich and go to heaven. Someone can still be rich and go to hell. Poor can still go to heaven. So it is your work with God that leads you to that place. It is not what you have. He never have work with the Lord. Hallelujah. When you work with the Lord, God will exalt you. Hallelujah. Many of them are shocked now because the news have reached them that all that which they thought was going to happen, God was going to abandon you. God we know about now you. God is with you in this journey. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.